Can I have one? Absolutely. Can I have one? Yes, Can absolutely. I have one? Sir, your your film. This has to happen now. Here you go. Here you go. If you want to check out official Shivai merchandise, it's right here at the store number 151. And you can also buy it on the Paint Color website. Paint Color. Sir, how did you get this t-shirt? It's very good. I think this is the one I bought. I love it. All right. I have a dress. You want the smaller one? All right. That here, sir, would you like to change it to your t-shirt as well? Not right now? Right here in front of everybody will be a little difficult. We got one screen. Someone wants to see that. I think one person. I'll do it later. <laughs> All right, sir. You know this T-shirt has three words: transform, protect, destroy. Kya matlab hai in three words? What do they signify? Why is this so important? Uh, these three words are characters which are all characteristics which are all within us. We have the strength to transform. We have the strength to protect whatever we have to protect. In the film it's the family but otherwise our society and these kids, all of them here, uh, they need to protect their future and uh, destroy. We all have to destroy. We don't we all have to destroy. Guys, do we like to destroy? Yes. Yes. yes! yes, we are. So let's destroy. Let's destroy at least the evil within us. Yes, that's a good thing to destroy. Absolutely. Um, this, I'm very intrigued. Okay, this is a, people are going to see you as a superhero. But would you describe your character as a superhero? I wouldn't describe it as a superhero. Uh, but it is like a superhero because any 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 man can be a superhero given the circumstance and how he fights it, it comes out of it. And whoever comes out of it, a winner is a superhero. What does a superhero have? Superpowers. Need not be able to fly or do things like this. Every man has a superpower inside. You should just know how to utilize it. That, that's how that, that's how Shiva is. So yes, Shiva is a superhero. So, uh, is there then a transformation that happens for Shivai? He becomes a superhero in the film, something like that? Could you end here? Yes. Uh, from, a, from a normal human, human being, given the circumstances, to protect his child transforms into a superhero. Well, you would need superhero-like powers to shoot in sub-zero temperatures in Bulgaria and Himalayas. How was that? How was that experience? It was terrible and fabulous. You guys like the snow? You should go someplace where there's a lot of snow. It's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, but when you have to shoot there, it's very, very tough. I mean, I'm standing at minus 20, minus 25 degrees, with her freezing. This child here, she's a super girl. She plays my daughter in the film. And she's a super girl because she has performed in temperatures like minus 20 degrees. And trust me, when we were shooting uh, till last, till this May, she was so much. And when she's come back now, she's this much. So I think she's a super girl going very fast. Uh, <clears throat> there is an iconic, the uh, trailer dekha jata. There is an iconic sequence where you're lying in the snow, topless. How? Ye kaise kiya? Aapko thand nahi lagi bilkul bhi? Thand lagi, band bajaya. And how long did you have to shoot that sequence? Uh, half a day. So yes, it was very cold, very very cold, and uh, we had to take all the precautions. I got hypothermia also once. Really? Yeah, which, okay. which was really, really terrible. Okay. The doctors asked me that you cannot shoot for the next two, three days. Okay. But within half an hour, I was back on location. Oh, amazing. You are a superhero. Yes. Yes. We all are superheroes. Absolutely. Super girls, yeah. yeah.
Uh, Eric, uh, sorry, Abigail, how's it for you, like working on, uh, for, by the way, Doctor Who is a favorite at Comic-Con. How many Doctor Who fans? Yes. All right. <laughs> so you've already been... So have you seen her in Doctor Who? Have you seen Abigail in Doctor Who? I heard like a faint... Like a Tell her something about her. Okay. Uh, how was it? Like uh, first year at Doctor Who and then over to Bollywood? Like what's... Uh, uh, how do you feel? Amazing. I mean, in my life I never thought I'd be coming up here to India. And I'm so happy I have experienced it. Because obviously when I have kids when I'm older, I get to tell them all about it. And I get to tell all my friends about it and my family. <laughs> okay, well, <clears throat> so Ajay here is your on screen dad. Yeah. Right? How much of that did you feel off screen at Did you feel like a daddy like yeah. connect? Okay. We so, have a connection. We're very okay. close and it was amazing on set because we were so close. It helped on screen as well and we never had to rehearse anything. It just happened naturally. Excellent. So, did you? If it was all natural, did any daddy, daddy daughter pranks also happen uh, on set? Yeah, we did joke around a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys do? Okay, give us a little example. Well, when we were filming one scene, we had food and we were like, well, we might as well just eat it for it. So we might as well throw it at each other. So we were just throwing them across to each other, trying to catch them in our mouths, and it didn't really work for me. Wait, you were trying to throw food at each other? Yeah. Who won? RJ. Of course, yes! <laughs> uh, she used to love collecting. I remember once, there was a lot of hay, and such big rocks, so we had to go undercover. She collected all the time, she was throwing at people. So, I mean, uh, all right, uh, Erica, you've done many shows for the BBC. Are uh, you doing the massive Hollywood TV series, uh, which, which is being shot in Canada? Am I correct? Yes. Okay, tell us a little bit about that. I'm, uh, I'm sure that comic book fans will be very, very happy. You're saying comic book fans will be very happy? Okay. I can't tell you the show, but... All right. So, how is it like... <clears throat> Similar to Abigail, you're working, you know, with, uh, with BBC, you're doing sure, you're doing a massive Hollywood TV series, TV series in Canada, and now Bollywood, you know, so how was that transition for you? Well, actually, Bollywood happened to me a lot earlier than Canada, Okay. so it was more of a transition from uh, United Kingdom and Poland to Bollywood, which is a huge thing for me. It was the best adventure of my life. <laughs> And I enjoyed every moment of it. Okay. In the trailer, you don't. Uh, the trailer doesn't show a lot of speaking part of you, but I have understood, or I've been made to understand, that you speak Hindi very well. Is that true? Yeah, very Hindi border channel here. Where's Where's also from my Comic Con? Shukriya. Shukriya. Okay. Yeah, but I did learn Hindi for uh, <coughs> many, many months be able to play my part. I was just about to ask that. How long did you have to spend learning Hindi and getting used to it before the film? Well, six months. It was every day, a couple of hours. And then afterwards, uh, I had workshops here and there, but then we would mainly focus on the shoot. But I did learn continuously from the crew, from people, from Ajay. I do have to catch up while you speak Hindi to each other, so... <clears throat> um, did you get any tips from Mr. Devgar? Many tips. Really? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we did cooperate. We did work on the scenes together. So, okay. you know, it was, a, it was a communication process. So if you would give me many tips, I would implement some of them. Excellent. So any tips that stood out for you? One step from Ajay that was spot on. Yeah, but it, it sounds really corny, but be yourself. He kept on telling me, be yourself, be yourself, stop this, stop that. Don't care how you look. So Excellent, thank you. And then were you yourself? I think so. I, I, I'm sure you were, I'm sure you were. Okay. Uh, they went some uh, the Avalanche sequence in the, uh, in the trailer. It's unbelievable. And 
there is a hanging tent in there as well. There's a, you know, it's it's quite unprecedented. What was that like? I mean, how do you shoot something like that? How uh, don't ask me because it's very tough to shoot. But you must uh, have seen if people have not been there. There are a lot of uh, resorts and hotels where you go and stay, where there's in, in the mountains and snow, where they hang the tents and you stay in the tents. So yeah, you can go, go you can you can just check it on net and you'll find a lot of okay. places similar <clears throat> to the tent we have and they serve you food there. Hang it. Kids. Yes. And you can you can sleep there, so you can spread it's like a hotel room. A hotel room hanging. Hanging, yes. Wow. Uh, it's, it's a great adv adventure. Whenever you get a chance to go to a place where there is a, there, there is a restaurant and there is a uh, hotel like this, you must stay there. If you're not scared of heights. Absolutely. I'm going for it. I'm not scared of heights at all. I would love your, I'm sure I'm going to love your film very much. Uh, here's, this is an Indian project which is on such a massive international scale. This is being uh, released in over 60 countries. And I understand there are a lot of international collaborations as well happening over here. Uh, what was that? Most, like? Mostly the actors. Uh, yeah. And uh, I'm very happy because after the, after the trailer response from all over the world, uh, people wanted uh, this film to be released in their country where usually uh, Indian films don't release. So that's why they're having uh, such a wide, wide release. And uh, people from there have also, you know, they've sent me messages and they've, they've said that how did you manage to shoot like this? We've not seen something like this out here also. And I tell them I'm very proud that it's made in India. We've done it. Absolutely. We are proud that it is made in India. Thank you. <clears throat> now, let's just open up the questions to the audience. Let's, uh, let's take questions from the audience. We have volunteers in the crowd. The first thought uh, behind any film, I think, it's the emotion. Uh, when, I, when I wanted to make this, when I started working on the script, the reason I worked on the script was because I felt a very strong bond between a parent and a child. Okay? And here, because I am a man, so it was a father and daughter bond. And that is, in a situation, how to what length a parent can go and do whatever he or she can for for the kids and how a child would react in a situation towards their parent. This was the basic idea. It's a, it's a, it's basically an emotional drama and uh, I would say in a way also a father-daughter love story because I feel don't look at me like this. No, no, you're not my daughter from not her. This is another love story. So, so yes, so it's I, I I'm sure that every daughter feels I mean that their their, their first love is their father, and uh, then they grow up and find another one. That's <laughs> that's that happens with everybody. And for a boy, uh, their first hero is a father. So that's the basic concept. Of so I definitely reconnect, like I definitely reconnect to the bond of father and daughter and after seeing the trailer I really want to say like yes you all you made all the girls relive that moment of connect with the father. Thank that, you so thank much. Thank you so sir. much. And that is a feeling I would like yes, everybody sir. to come out with. Yes. Uh, the whole idea of making this film is that that is a reaction when we saw the film all together. Uh, what I wanted that when you come out of the theatre you have a little tears in your eyes yes. and you're happy. Yes. But you feel this bond. Just not with your father, just with anybody you love. Right, so sir, can I shake a hand with you? Come on. Thank you so much.